टॉप थ्री को हम लोग सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड गिफ्ट देंगे एंड टॉप थ्री को हम लोग सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड गिफ्ट मिलेगा डस्ट टू को हमारा सर्टिफिकेट मिलेगा इंडस्ट्रीज डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल सो टाइम एंड स्टार्ट हमने कर दिया है individually har kisi ka apna ideas hona chahiye individually prize milega isliye
टेन मिनट्स मोर टेन मिनट्स है आपके पास अभी टेन मिनट्स टू लेफ्ट minutes left.
कब हो गया है नहीं वॉलेंटियर्स इट्स रिक्वेस्ट टेक दियर शीट्स जिनका भी हो गया है आई विल रिक्वेस्ट कि आप लोग सब आगे आके बैठे हैं आगे बहुत खाली लग रहा है सब बहुत स्टैटर्ड लग रहा है क्योंकि अभी हमारे भी चीफ गेस्ट भी आएंगे सर भी आएंगे तो अच्छा लगेगा कि आप लोग थोड़ा आगे भी आए पीछे वाले अब तो टेस्ट हो गया अब तो आगे आ सकते हैं हम लोग I request all the PGP students to turn their phone to the silent mode. We'll start it shortly.
May we have your attention please? Let us now take you all through the Startup Policy Success video. जो आपकी है 
मिनिमम एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया वो है कि इसमें आपकी बिहार में फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपकी रजिस्ट्रेशन होनी चाहिए यानी आपकी आपका रजिस्ट्रेशन बिहार में होना चाहिए इसकी फर्स्ट एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया यही है आपकी कंपनी जो है टेन ईयर से पहले की रजिस्टर नहीं होनी चाहिए यहाँ यहाँ पे आप टर्न ओवर की बात करेंगे तो आपको 100 करोड़ एक फाइनेंशियल ईयर में आपके टर्नओवर नहीं होनी चाहिए ये बेसिक एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया है आपके स्टार्टअप पॉलिसी में फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यहाँ पे स्टार्टअप में आपका एक डिफ्रेंसिएशन होना भी चाहिए कि आपकी आइडिया इनोवेटिव है आपका कोई एमएसएमई से रिलेटेड कोई बिजनेस नहीं होना चाहिए आपका जनरल बिजनेस नहीं होना चाहिए उसमें आपको कुछ केमिकल बिजनेस मॉडल होना चाहिए ये बेसिक इंसेंटिव्स हैं जो हम लोग बिहार स्टार्टअप पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में हम लोग दे रहे हैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में आपका हम लोग टेन लाख तक का आपको इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन दे रहे हैं हम लोग यहाँ पे आप इसमें आपकी सीड फंडिंग टेन लाख की है उसके बाद अर्ली स्टेज में आपको हम लोग टू परसेंट का रेज इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्रॉम स्टेज रजिस्टर्ड जो एंजल इन्वेस्टर्स हैं उसमें हम आपको ग्रांट दे रहे हैं मैचिंग ग्रांट्स की भी सुविधा है इसमें मैचिंग ग्रांट डेट मीन्स की आप अगर किसी एंजल इन्वेस्टर या वीसी से या फिर से भी रजिस्टर्ड ए के थ्रू आप फंड ग्रांट करते हैं तो हम लोग अप टू फिफ्टी लैक्स तक का आपको लोन प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं जिसमें हम लोग आपको फाइव परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पे आपको लोन प्रोवाइड हम लोग करेंगे इसमें अगर आपका आइडिया सपोज कीजिए कि आ, कोई मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट्स है या फिर कोई इनोवेटिव आइडिया जिसमें आप पेटेंट कराना चाहते हैं तो उस पेटेंट के जितने भी एक्सपेंसिस हैं वो आपको हम लोग बियर कर रहे हैं इसमें और आप जितने भी वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट से आप अगर फंड रेज करते हैं और कैटेगरी वन में जो से भी रजिस्टर्ड ए के थ्रू तो हम लोग अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट तक फिफ्टी लैक्स तक का आप उसमें लोन हम प्रोवाइड कर ही रहे हैं एक्सलेशन प्रोग्राम है जिसमें हम लोग थ्री लैक्स तक का एक्सलेशन प्रोग्राम प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं एप्लीकेशन स्टार्टअप पॉलिसी में जो हम लोग एक दिसंबर से एप्लीकेशन स्टार्ट करेंगे उसमें हम लोग कैटेगरी वन और कैटेगरी टू में डिवाइड बी में डिवाइड किया है हम लोगों ने कैटेगरी ए में वैसे स्टार्टअप एग्जिस्टिंग स्टार्टअप जो अपने आइडिया पे काम कर रहे हैं उनको हम लोगों ने रखा है उनका जस्ट एक पर्सनल इंट्रैक्शन होगा जिसको हम पिज के थ्रू उस पर करेंगे और उनको सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोवाइड करेंगे और उनको डायरेक्ट ग्रांट हम लोग प्रोवाइड कर देंगे कैटेगरी बी में वैसे आइडिया जो अभी प्री स्टेज में है और उनको पहले एप्लीकेशन प्रोवाइड एप्लीकेशन देना है उसके बाद एप्लीकेशन को हम लोग फिल्टर करेंगे एप्लीकेशन फिल्टर करने हमारे एस की टीम रहेगी स्टार्टअप सपोर्ट यूनिट की टीम रहेगी वो आपको एप्लीकेशन फिल्टर करेंगे उसके बाद हम लोग एक लर्निंग मॉड्यूल है जो कि आपको उस पर एक बेसिक्स एग्ज़ाम उस पर लिया जाएगा डेट मीन्स अगर आप बिजनेस करने जा रहे हैं तो आपको बेसिक बिजनेस के बारे में आइडिया होना चाहिए तो वहाँ पे हम लोग उस एग्ज़ाम को कंडक्ट करके उसमें जो आ, पास करेंगे उनका सिलेक्शन करेंगे उनका भी पीआई करेंगे हम लोग उसके बाद उनको भी सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देंगे यही हमारा स्टार्टअप पॉलिसी के अंदर में जितने भी इंसेंटिव है इसमें टेन लैक्स का प्रावधान है जिसमें आपको फोर लैक्स तक का आपको फर्स्ट ट्रांच मिलेगा और सिक्स लैख का आपको जब आप फोर लैख यूटिलाइज कर लेते हैं तो आपको आफ्टर डेट सिक्स लैख का आपको रिजेप्ट मिल जाएगा उसमें Anything doubt? Anything? Thank you. It's time for iconic, iconic startup of the day. May I now invite Mr. Vibhuti Vikramaditya from Smartway Electronics. respected dignitaries of the dais and the uh, and the dasar deha uh, all the professors the cimp students of the cimp and other participants my name is bihuti bikaditya i am the director of the company called smartwell electronics private limited which is incubated at iit patna uh, after coming back from south korea I started my own company that is called Smart Electronics Private Limited. When I came to India, I thought, where should I go? 
तो मेरे पास एक ऑब्वियस चॉइस था क्योंकि मैं इंजीनियर था इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड से था तो मेरे पास ऑब्वियस चॉइस था वो था आई आई जाने के बाद आई में हमारी कंपनी हमारे प्रोजेक्ट को लिया उस उस प्रोजेक्ट का नाम फिलहाल मैं नहीं लूँगा लेकिन जैसे ही हमारी कंपनी इनक्यूबेट हुई आई पटना में उसके जस्ट बाद कोरोना पीरियड स्टार्ट हो गया तब आपको पता होना चाहिए कि कोरोना पीरियड में क्या हुआ कोरोना पीरियड में ऐसा हुआ कि पूरे वर्ल्ड में एक 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 बहुत तरह का हंगामा हो गया लॉकडाउन लग गए पूरे इंडिया में प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के द्वारा एक एक योजना चलाई गई कि सभी लोग जितने भी इंजीनियर हैं मैनेजमेंट के स्टूडेंट हैं सभी लोगों को अपना प्रोडक्ट बनाना है और प्रोडक्ट इतना फास्ट बनाना है कि वो प्रयुक्त भी हो जाए लोगों को उपयोग भी आ जाए फिर उस योजना के तहत आई पटना ने भी एक प्रोग्राम निकाला था कि जो लोग भी जो भी हो सकता है प्रोजेक्ट बनाए हम लोगों ने देखा सेकेंड साइड हम लोगों ने देखा कि उस समय पूरे इंडिया में पूरे वर्ल्ड में एक प्रोडक्ट ऐसा था जिसकी भरमार थी और वो भरमार कैसी थी कि सबके पास वो चालीस प्रोडक्ट था जिसका नाम था ऑक्सीमीटर एंड हम लोगों ने पाया कि ये ऑक्सीमीटर का चाइनीज लोगों का बड़ा ध्वस्त है लेकिन प्राइस बड़ा कम है यह भी पाया कि उसमें जो उसकी क्वालिटी है वो बहुत खराब है कई बार तो लोगों का नब्बे आया पंचानवे आया पंचानवे संतानवे तो नॉर्मल था उससे नीचे आया तो अस्सी आता था वो एक रिपोर्ट है कि थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट ऐसे लोग थे जो इस इस वजह से हम चले गए कि उनका ऑक्सीमीटर खराब था वो पहुंच गया परेशान हो गए कई लोग तो मर भी गए हम लोगों के पास एक चौबीस व चौस ये था और दूसरा जो प्रोडक्ट था बहुत हाई एंड था जो फिलिप्स का था जी का था जो हॉस्पिटल में लगते थे हाई एंड मतलब पंद्रह हजार प्रोडक्ट का दाम था हम लोगों के पास वो चार महीने में हम लोगों ने प्रोडक्ट बनाया थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट बनाया क्यों कि जो भी चाइनीज प्रोडक्ट थे उसमें रिजल्ट दिखता था सामने और रिजल्ट समझ देता था और हमारे पास चॉइस ये था कि जो कोरोना पेशेंट है वो डॉक्टर से फैमिली से सबसे अलग है तो उनको ऑक्सीमीटर के अलावा मतलब एस पी टू लेवल हर्ट और हर्ट रेट के अलावा उनको चाहिए था कि टेम्परेचर भी दिखे क्योंकि बुखार होता था बुखार दो तीन चार तो डॉक्टर को सभी रिपोर्ट चाहिए थी तो हम लोगों ने जो डिवाइस बनाया वो किया कि ब्लूटूथ रेंज में उसका रिजल्ट चला जाए कहाँ ब्लूटूथ रेंज में उसका रिजल्ट चला जाए डेस्ट मोबाइल पर और आई से जोड़ दिया ताकि डॉक्टर अगर पेशेंट अगर 10 पेशेंट डॉक्टर के पास है किसी आईसीयू में तो डॉक्टर ने तब को भी उस समय याद होगा कि डर लगता था जाने में कि भाई अंदर जाऊं आईसीयू में जाऊं कि नहीं जाऊं तो डॉक्टर भी सामने से बहुत दूर से उसको देख सकते थे ये प्रोडक्ट जो आईओटी आई था वेब आई टी बेस्ट था इसको बनाने के बाद आई ने भेजा एम्स को और एम्स ने उसको कोरोना फैसन पर टेस्ट नहीं किया थैंक्स टू एम्स एंड थैंक्स टू आई जिन्होंने इस प्रोडक्ट को अप्रूव किया अप्रूव करने के बाद टेस्टिंग हुई आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू लेट्स हैव अ बिग हैंड्स टू द आई टी जिन्होंने हमारे प्रोडक्ट को अप्रूवल दिया टेस्टिंग की आई टेल यू वेरी फ्रेंकली नेक्स्ट प्लीज आई टेल यू वेरी फ्रेंकली दैट कि उसके बाद उसके बाद उस प्रोडक्ट के बनने के बाद वो ये हुआ कि हमने तीन तीन वर्जन बनाए एक बर्तन था जो चाइनीज टाइप का था लेकिन स्क्रीन पर दिखता था और उसके साथ ही साथ वो मोबाइल पर भी दिखता था ये उसकी स्पेशलिटी थी दूसरा प्रोडक्ट जो था जो हमने बनाया वो टेलीमेडिसिन वर्जन था मतलब वो कि आपको सामने तो नहीं दिखता लेकिन जब टेलीमेडिसिन का बहुत सारा काम हो गया तो आपको याद होगा बताएंगे आप कुछ देर के बाद कि एम्स पटना के सहयोग से नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन के तहत हमारा अभी चालीस डिस्ट्रिक्ट में यह प्रोडक्ट लग चुका है और वो चल रहा है मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा यहाँ भी ये तीनों वर्जन है ये एक वर्जन ये है जो जो लगा है बिहार के 40 डिस्ट्रिक्ट में टेलीमेडिसिन के तहत नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन के तहत ये लगा है स्टेट हेल्थ सोसाइटी ने इसको पर हेल्प किया है और ये लगा हुआ है दूसरा प्रोडक्ट है वो है जो पूरे आपने मैंने कहा कि जी और जी और फिलिप्स से टक्कर लेना है क्योंकि हमारे प्रोडक्ट का जो टेस्टिंग हुआ था वो तो जी और फिलिप्स के ही से ही कंपेयर करके हुआ था ये प्रोडक्ट देखिए आप जब भी आईसी में जाएंगे लोग को लगता है कि ऑक्सीमीटर खाली कोरोना के समय ही लगा था ऐसी बात नहीं और आप जब आईसी में कहीं भर्ती हो भगवान न कहे कि भर्ती हो लेकिन अगर भर्ती हो जाते हैं तो आपके हाथ में उंगली में आता है वो लगा हुआ एक्चुअली ऑक्सीमीटर ही होता है और वो जी का होता है या फिलिप्स का होता है बड़ी कंपनी है तो एक नीदरलैंड की है या एक जर्मनी की है 
हमने उसके टेम्परेचर में जिसका हमारा जो इफिशियस रेट है वो नाइन है अब हमारे हमारा ये प्रोडक्ट है वो जी और फिलिप्स को टक्कर देने वाला है ऐसा एम्स कहते हैं एम्स पटना के लोग कहते हैं कि वो इसको आगे बढ़ाएंगे क्योंकि उन्होंने हमारा हेल्प किया है और वो चाहते हैं क्योंकि हमारा इफिशियंसी रेट इसका 99.9 परसेंट है इस जो रिपोर्ट कहता है इसीलिए वो आगे बढ़ाएंगे उसके बाद जब प्रोडक्ट बढ़ गया प्रोडक्ट बढ़ने के बाद प्रोडक्ट बढ़ गया क्योंकि आई पटना ने फंड दिया था उसके बाद हुआ कि मैनुफैक्चरिंग स्केलिंग कैसी हो तो हम लोग डिसाइड किया आई आई पटना ने कहा फिर तो एक ही चॉइस है गवर्नमेंट के पास जाया जाए और बिहार गवर्नमेंट थैंक्स टू बिहार गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट इंडस्ट्री जिन्होंने उस कोरोना काल में भी हमारे इस प्रोडक्ट को अप्रूवल दिया अप्रूवल देने के बाद वो दस लाख दस लाख आई के बाद दस लाख का वो फंड हमें मिल गया है एक बार फिर से ताली मारी है डिपार्टमेंट इंडस्ट्री के लिए जो उस समय भी मैं मैं कहता हूँ कि अभी जो हमारा डिपार्टमेंट इंडस्ट्री है एक्चुअली बहुत सा काम कर रहा है मुझे नहीं लगता बहुत सारे स्टेट में जाता हूं मैं पाता हूं कि बिहार गवर्नमेंट का इंडस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट रियली बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहा है एक बार फिर से हमारे डिपार्टमेंट के लिए तालीम आई है दस साल के बाद मैं दिखाना चाहूंगा ये चलो एक डेमो दिखाते हैं इस प्रोडक्ट का देखिए वहां जाती है वो अपने हाथ को रखा हुआ है और मैं दिखाऊंगा ब्यूटी क्या मैं ऑन करता हूँ और ये हमारा ऐप है इस पर मैं सिलेक्ट करता हूं
I now invite Professor Dr. Rana Singh, Director CIMP, to deliver the welcome address. a short video on Bihar Industries. a few things. To kindle the flame of growth in every industrial sector in Bihar. To build a sustainable industrial ecosystem across the state. Leveraging the young population, available market and natural resources along with 21st century connectivity and pro-enterprise administration. The impact of our efforts is already visible. Muzaffarpur and Chanpatiya model of industrialization is the latest POC winning accolades across geographies and boundaries. And the fresh industry oriented regulation, particularly underpinning the textile and leather industry, brings endless possibilities into business. Our endeavors are not just limited to one sector. In fact, we pledge to make it sustainable for all. And we have many industrialists advocating that the intent is different this time. The government has understood textiles and leather. Employment is not a very good thing. On Saturday, the government has understood With 73 industrial hubs, 17 business cluster undertakings, 7 airports, 3 inside Bihar borders and 4 in the vicinity, well-connected road, railway and water network, Bihar today is at the cusp of transformation from a land of history to the land of industry and perfectly poised to leap into the future. Geographically surrounded by countries and states like Nepal, Jharkhand, West Bengal and Yubi, Bihar is perfectly placed to market your goods and services within state borders and its proximity. And that is the reason why enterprises like Adani's and HUL are in talks with the local administration to set up their units in Bihar. Bihar is now fully ready for business that Bihar welcomes investors and investments in all possible sectors. And above all, many business subsidies in power tariff, employment generation, capital investment and skill development and reimbursements in tax, electricity duty, land registration stamp duty, land conversion fee and free allocated to industries not just to help them grow but to thrive and now we intend to make the best out of our endeavors by taking your business growth abreast 
with our development goals to newer heights. Through our shared efforts and shared commitments. I now invite the audience to volunteer and share their startup ideas. Mr. Amajit Kumar from PGP2. Actually, recently I have presented a case that was cleanliness and tourism perspective in Bihar, in which I done a survey. Uh, in that survey, that I found that there was in Bihar there is a huge potential of tourism. There is a huge job in this sector. What we are lacking somewhere. At my survey, I have done this survey, Prox, there was participants, 130 participants were there. So I just give an open question for that. Then I found in that survey that what problem do you face mostly when you visit Bihar? From that survey, approximately 60% were told about first was their cleanliness and second was their safety. And other issues were there, but mainly I found that was cleanliness and another one was safety. So I just uh, been sir, told us that give us some idea, startup idea. So I found that there is some like things uh, this can add some value in our tourism sector. So I found that there should be a application mobile app at that mobile app will be uh, provide the tourism sectors, uh, tourism, uh, tourist places of Bihar like Bodh Gaya, like Rajgir, like Baishali and many others. And in which we will provide a package of tourist, tourism place like if you want to study, uh, visit on the list of late suppose someone want to study, uh, someone is historical person who want to study about Bihar on the basis of history and who want, uh, someone who want to study on the uh, history of Bihar and he want to visit Bihar. So there is a package like some historical place. Like 
we can uh, in that package we can add like both gap or some like and then still so in that we can provide them like some package of prism place let's suppose i have to which uh, uh bihar so i will just open the open that app or i will book those places where i want to visit i will book on that and our app or our person will connect to that and we want to visit on the basis of that we will charge the fee from tourist and uh, we will send our and we, uh, we will send our visitors or tourist uh, to this places so what we will offer uh, we will offer like waste uh, hospitality and like we will also provide them to guide who will guide them this was from my side thank you all of you thank you it's time for iconic startup of the day may i now invite mr chab watsayan from sisluna janki private limited Uh, raw material into a sustainable raw material for our product. 
for making sanitrous pad so uh, it is basically waste to wealth product in agri sector so why switch to sanitrous so in one of our market survey 50% of the interviewed women has told that uh, their major reason to switch uh, it, because it is eco friendly and uh, does not have any harmful effect on earth for 25% of women uh, they they their major reason to switch because it has excellent absorption capacity and uh, for uh, 15% uh they would like to switch because it is safer for skin and for 10% they they would like to switch for uh because it is a pocket friendly product so basically uh maybe start up next slide so basically uh mujhe start up bihar se 10 lakh ka seed fund mila hai aur sapne to maine dekhe the कि मुझे मेंस्ट्रुएशन हाइजीन मैनेजमेंट में ही एम एच में ही कुछ करना है बट सपनों को उड़ान मुझे बिहार सरकार और भारत सरकार की योजनाओं से मिला क्योंकि मैंने उस योजना में अप्लाई किया और हमें सीड फंड और ग्रांटी रेट मिला और उससे आज हम हमारे फैक्ट्री में 10 महिलाओं को रोजगार दे रहे हैं और सक्सेसफुली प्रोडक्ट डेवलप आइडिया फेज में मैंने रजिस्टर किया था स्टार्टअप बिहार पॉलिसी में और वहाँ से प्रोडक्ट डेवलप स्टेज तक में आई तब मुझे फंडिंग मिली और फंडिंग मिलने के बाद हम हमारा प्रोडक्ट अभी मार्केट में अवेलेबल है और लोग उसे सस्टेनेबल मैंसुलेशन के लिए स्विच कर रहे हैं और यूज़ कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री कि उन्होंने uh, हमें मौका दिया और स्क्रूटनी तो बहुत ज़रूरी होती है किसी भी फंडिंग को लेने के लिए प्रोसेस थोड़ा लंबा हो सकता है वो भी अभी बहुत स्पीड अप कर दिया गया है लेकिन आप लोग प्लीज प्रोसेस में आइए तो आपको वो फंडिंग मिल सकती है आपको भी मिल सकती है एंड ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू से कि मेरे लिए देर इज नो सच कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्लान बी मैंने कभी प्लान भी सोचा ही नहीं मैंने प्लान ए पे प्लान ए मैंने प्लान किया अच्छे से प्लान किया और प्लान ए पे ही मैं चलती रही कंसिस्टेंटली और आज मुझे 35 लाख की फंडिंग है और आ, हम लोग अपना प्रोडक्ट एटलीस्ट मार्केट लॉन्च कर चुके हैं और आ, मैं जीविका के साथ काम कर रही हूँ फॉर स्केलेबिलिटी सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू मैम I now invite Mr. Sanjay Banerjee sir from startup team to share his thoughts. A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh I would like to first thank the members and the guys uh shri pankaj dikshit ji director industries then we have uh, dr rana singh again uh, from cimp and i think so dr rana singh works very hard with the startup team to so thank you sir for all the efforts that you have put in to us and then we have uh, dilip sir Dilip sir is special secretary industries. I would like to thank him also for spending time, and I'm sure he will express his views along with the other things to you and tell about the startup things that we're doing. And uh, also to Kumud sir, uh, who is also here again from CIMP. He has helped us in multiple things, and I think so the evaluation that we did, he was there. So thank you, sir, for helping the startup team do all the activities that we did. so uh just to add value to this why are we here so what's the perspective and what is the line of thought that we have built and coming to a college like yours uh one thing that we would like to see is that you can set up the next unicorn from here and that's the whole purpose so we are seeding an idea today that what we can do with you that's why that we played out an idea challenge as well the ideation challenge but there is there are multiple things that you can do in a startup and just to differentiate startup from traditional businesses uh i was just seeing a person who was just here somebody told to switch off the light i think so dr rana only said to switch off the light he had to go back switch off the light and then again come down again he has to go back 
Now, somebody spoke about IoT. Today, I don't need to move anywhere. I just use my mobile phone and I have Internet of Things. I can control all the lights out here. So the traditional business would be that I switch on the light and switch off the light. That's traditional. But when I use IoT, the Internet of Things, that's what a startup has to do. So I need to make things easier for consumers. So when you're a consumer, am I making my things easier for you? So number one principle of becoming a startup is, or if you're wanting to innovate as, as a product, are you making the product something which is easy to use, easy for the consumer to spend time with? So that's number one. Number two is that, am I saving cost for the consumer? Cost, again, that's a differential in nature. Now, there will be somebody saying, sir, I want to make a premium product, so how will I save cost? Obviously, you are in a different brand, you are in a different league altogether, but still, there can be a perspective you can save cost, which may not be cost in terms of rupee value, but it can be cost in terms of time spent. So a real sense is that let's say I have to travel from here to Calcutta today, and I'm using an airline, am I reducing something? I'm reducing time. Maybe the cost is higher, but I'm reducing time of my engagement. That's again something, an idea around startup. So when you're trying to develop, we would like to have people from you who can build in the unicorns of tomorrow. And that's the whole point that we're wanting to build, why we're coming to start uh, colleges and trying to engage with you so that can we get one or two ideas which we can make it bigger for Bihar. And this is what the industries department is also wanting to do through the policy as well. That's why we have revamped our policy and we've brought in the new policy. The new policy, if you see, the way we are functioning, and I'm sure Pankaj sir would add more speed to it, is that we are speeding up the entire process of activity. What used to take one year, two years, today we are doing it 45 days. And we had a record 45 days, we disbursed the first tranche to the next, to the ideas which came in, and they came in by the 30th of September. The tranches were given on the 15th. So this is the speed with which the government is also wanting, wanting to work and working as well. And that's why there is an entire team that is being set up which will facilitate this process. There will be co-working spaces which we are going to open up for people who are wanting to get into the startup domain. And then there would be seed capital funding also which we are giving anyways. But Parallelly, we are wanting to also see, can we get in the investors, the VCs, the P's that we call to the state so that you can get facility from them in terms of scaling up your business. So this is what the department is doing and thankfully to the entire team that we have been making efforts and I think so we are uh, getting on to a speed where maybe 45 days we can reduce it to 30 also within the next two quarters. That's the whole zeal with which we are working. But building on from here, what do you need to become a startup? Any thought, any idea? What are the things that when you go to a maybe a venture capitalist, what is that one thing that he is looking at in you? Anybody has an idea? There are multiple things he is looking at, but there is one thing that he looks at, which is the primary reason why he will invest in your company. Anybody? Yes, sir. Motivation, okay. Problem solving, potential. Okay. I would say and suggest, or I, I would look at it from a point that how big a brand you are, who is going to come, who is going and seeking that money. So the investor technically looks at you. He doesn't look at are you an IIM or an IIT or whatever. Those things go under the carpet. You, he looks at that, is this person standing in front of me and asking for the money good and qualified enough to make my money double? Because he is going to exit maybe in three, five, seven years. That's the lifespan of a PE. And that's the one thing that he's looking at. So when you're looking at investment, don't like just look at the idea that you're trying to propagate. Look at yourself also and try to build yourself as a brand and the superior brand that you can always become. So, number one is you yourself, and number two is idea and the power behind that idea. Third thing that I would say is, how well are you pitching for that idea? So there is a pitch. We all uh, there's there's a, there's an entire documentation around pitching. Can you pitch your idea the best way? Like I just 
would say the person who came here, his idea was brilliant. And just because you're a student and giving your guidance, your pitch was pathetic. So your idea was brilliant, but your pitch was pathetic. So you will not be able to get the funding out of it. But if you're even if your idea is two levels down, but your pitch is perfect, I think so that's where the crack happens. So when I say pitch, there will be a lot of other things also, the financial terminologies around it, the uh, the workings around the working capital and the other facilities that you will be providing. But pitch is one thing that you need to keep on practicing, practicing. You need to crisply tell in maybe five minutes what you want to do. Maybe let's say you get a time from Ratan Tata and you want to get funding from him. You will not get more than five minutes. Five minutes, कि आपको क्यों फंडिंग चाहिए क्या करने वाले हो और क्या आप करने वाले हो विद द प्रोडक्ट एंड व्हाट कॉस्ट सेविंग दैट यू विल मेक फॉर दीस पीपल सो दैट्स वन मोर थिंग दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट आई डोंट नो इफ यू ऑल हैव रेड द दिस बुक कॉल्ड इज द ब्लू ओशन स्ट्रेटजी बट आई वुड से दैट यू ऑल शुड रीड दिस ब्लू ओशन स्ट्रेटजी बुक बिकॉज़ ऑल स्टार्टअप्स आर एक्चुअली ब्लू ओशंस सो रेड ओशंस आर पीपल हु आर डूइंग ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेसेस but blue oceans are the innovations that people are doing so blue ocean strategy it's a very nice book rene and chen had written and i think so there is a pivot to it also a uh, blue ocean shift that's the next level so why blue ocean shift was also written was because a lot of startups like i'm sure uh, what richa is doing today is fantastic as a product but there would be somebody who's looking at richa every day and saying okay let richa conquer the market conquer the market conquer the market there will be a time when richa will capture maybe 10% 50% 15% 20% of the market that person will come with bigger monies and squash her out with a pivot and that's called the shift the pivot that is your startup idea having a pivot to it can you can you change yourself because major what happens is that a big organization it takes a lot of time to pivot but with startups it takes very little time to pivot so do you have the pivoting skills that's one more thing that is important the other thing that a startup also is looked upon when a vc kind of invests in you is the team it's just not you and many of the startup owners fail in this because they they do everything possible in the world you don't need to you need to know everything but you don't need to know do everything knowing and doing there's a difference so you need to form a team today uh, all the world is working on collaborative marketing also you don't need to work upon yourself and i think so marketing 4.0 what you all have been brought upon is is talking about collaborative marketing so that means if today i am a g i am producing a medical equipment i don't need to produce the chip which is there maybe t global which might be a, one of the largest companies or a qualcom or a snapdragon can be doing the uh, the chip part of it so you don't need to be a manufacturer of everything the entire end to end product you need to be a part of the product but overall scalability overall speed is something that you need to provide one more thing uh, that startups generally lack and which is one more thing that vcs when they are looking at uh, funding they look at is the international appeal do you have an international appeal to your product because many of the indian products what they lack is but like uh, she is here her product may not be very fit in terms of the pricing range because her lowest bottom pricing would be 30 35 rupees whereas her product range would be 140 rupees so she may not have a market maybe india may not be the market for us she may have a market which is external so she might have to explore that market do you have the right market for yourself is one more thing that you need to work upon and see and the last but not the least is everything great uh, but many people think that flipkart to was in red that means usko to koi profit hi nahi tha fir bhi itni valuation kaise ho gayi to profit is just not in terms of revenue terms profit is in terms of your customer base as well so are you building the cu right customer bases are you building the right cohorts for yourself is another important thing that you need to look upon so these are the f uh, facts of startups i thought i'll talk about it and bihar startup policy is there to help you and uh, the entire government machinery is there to help you and sir is there to help you uh, Pankaj Dikshit sir leads this program for us 
and uh, he is very energetic in terms of our regular reviews and things. So the kind of ideas that keeps on coming yesterday evening also a lot of things came up. And I think so we are working towards making Bihar a startup hub and you are the people who will be making this as a hub of India. So that's the promise that we are looking for and thank you so much for being a part of this program. Thank you sir. May I now invite Professor Rajiv Verma, Director of Business Incubation and Innovation Foundation CIMP to share his thoughts. Shri, Director, Department of Industries, Shri Dilip Ji, uh, Special Secretary, Department of Industries, Dr. Professor Rana Singh, and Shri Kumar Ji. Uh, I think our previous speaker has rightly said that the team this time is extremely energetic, and that's visible from their all the activities and the involvement that they give for startups. So I think that's the key that uh, things are going in the right direction. So uh, let me share our journey of CIMP with you all because many of you might not be aware about how startups and how incubation has been seeded into the philosophy of this institution. So uh, way back uh, in 2016, the Department of Industries has approached us for giving our views on the upcoming startup policy that was in 2016. And, uh, the Anasoy director over there, uh, Professor Dr. Kukundas, uh, has created a small team for all of, including many of the faculties that were being the part of the team to give our views. So this is how we were actually being exposed to startup. And what is, that was a very, very humble start in which Department of Industries along with the consultants, Yes Bank was there at that time, along with uh, many of the institutions like us, IITs, uh, CIMPs, and so all these institutions were being the part of the team to create the startup policy. So in 2016, we inducted our own startup policy. At that time, I remember uh, Dr. Siddharth was there as the principal secretary serving over there, and uh, he was also very, very enthusiastic about how to give a presence in the map of India about startups. Because as we all know, you know, if you talk about world. We know some of the places like Silicon Valley, Israel, and all those places wherein you can be called as the hubs of startups. If we talk about India, way back in 16, there was no presence of Bihar on that startup map, except few presence which can be made by uh, in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, and such locations. But there was no presence in Bihar as such for startups. We were 16. The biggest challenge for all of us who were the part of the team were to inculcate the idea of startups because as we know historically it's a land wherein people are more involved into academics plus government jobs. So we actually run behind all those entrepreneurs that okay please at least look into this policy, please apply for this and uh, there was a time when we used to teach people Department of Industries used to reach people asking about fulfilling the form and applying for this particular seed money for starting their own business. And at that time, people were not very much aware about seed for, about this seed funding scheme, about startups, and also not very confident about the incubation support which they can actually get from the institutions in Bihar. In fact, Department of Industries had taken a step ahead and started their first medical robotics lab at IIT Patna at that time and also the incubation center of the CIMP was actually created with the active support of Department of Industries. So we got uh, initial funding from Department of Industries to start our incubation center and this is how we started it. <coughs> but previously, uh, in fact if I talk about 2-3 years back when they started, the ecosystem of Bihar was very, very fragile in nature, which we could all get witness. There were parties like we have BIA over here, Bihar Industry Association, we have Bihar Chamber of Commerce, we have FIKI and all as a uh, uh, bodies, uh, government bodies. 
and the other side, we also have uh, our own institutions like IIT, uh, CIMP, DMI, NIFT, NIT, all wherein the incubation support was provided. But the ecosystem was not that coherent, which it should be. Uh, moving forward, you, you know, we started looking into the projects that are used to come to us. Uh, I still remember the time when we get some of the projects wherein once the initial seed fund was allocated to them, on the very next day, the student or the entrepreneur which used to come on walking has come along on a good bike along with the Apple phone. He said, oh, I got my fund and I, this is how I invested the fund. So this is how the, you know, the mentality was that, okay, if I get the fund from the government, it should be utilized for my creating my own assets rather than investing to the business because the vision was not clear. They were not aware about it that how to invest the money and how to proceed with that. Uh, but uh, I'm sure uh, with the active support in Department of Industries as well as from uh, many such incubation centers which are there in the states now, things are on the right track. In, uh, in Bihar now we have Atal Incubation Center at the Bihar Vidya Peet which takes projects under the Atal Innovation Scheme. Uh, recently BIO also uh, got a funding from uh, Startup India which is a notified, become the notified incubation center at uh, Bihar. In fact CIMP is now notified by MSME. So we are now the MSME notified incubation center in Bihar, which is uh, the second after NIT. Similarly, uh, all the incubation centers that are working in Bihar are now working very, very coherently. In fact, we as a unit come together, always discuss and try to make a system which can work really in coherence with the Department of Industries. In fact, uh, uh, I would like, first I would like to congratulate the Department of Industries on the on this policy which has been come up because now the current policy is much more improved than the previous policy. Previously we had certain policy issues wherein there is no scope for scaling up. But this time we have the scope for scaling up which students can also take participate into that. Uh, in fact, I would like to uh, invite all the students which are there in our institution that you should also take part into it. In fact, uh, when there are many institutions where our students are also putting up applications, they are applying for those startups and then they are uh, actually, they are coming with the shiny colors. I think uh, you are, ma'am, are you the part of NIFT? Yeah, I can understand from your enter that you have shared with us that, you know, it looks like you are a student over there. Earlier, you were there. But you were the incubated over there. Excellent. So, as a student also, you can also contribute into it because, you know, the, the, the seed comes at the institution level. In fact, uh, now we have our own IPR lab. We have our IPR facility, facility in Bihar, which is actually state of the art. If anybody who wants to file their patent IPR, we provide all the supports that is provided, supported by MSME. So, uh, in fact, so far till date, we have already filed 11 patents, uh, two design patents, and seven trademarks. This is how we are. So, uh, things are on the right track because uh, the the intellectual property right and it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, saving those those digital property rights is a very very important issue, and I think uh, uh, that should be addressed. So this is what we are doing right now. Apart from that, uh, students can also all, anytime can contact the foundation because if you look into the startup journey, we started with the as a as a unit within the institution, the startup incubation center, which is called as Sibyl, which is started in 2017, was renamed in 2020. So you might not be aware about that, but we renamed it in 2020, and then. In 2021, we actually made it, it as a company which is Section 8 company. So we have started from a small unit which is a part of the institution and now it is a full-fed unit, full-fed department which is a serving as a foundation as a Section 8 company and registered in the ROC. This is how we start and uh, now as Government of India as well as Ministry of Education is having a lot of thirst into it. So now we are also the, having our own IIC which is a Institutional Innovation Council. We are also getting support from Depart Department of in uh, Industries as well as Ministry of Education in terms of patents and uh, copyright issues. Apart from that, we are also publishing a lot of many cases in terms of dissemination of best practices. So, if you look into the, if you have ever come to say uh, the foundation, you'll find that there are a lot of cases where it has been published by students, FPM students from CIMP as well as faculty members from CIMP who are actually looking into the dissemination of best practices that are being the part in Bihar and you know, getting into the next level. So these are the small, some of the things which we are doing and uh, I know this is a small start but yes it's a firm start because 
as of now, we, right now we are having our pre-incubation lab, incubation unit, as well as commercialization unit, as well as IPR support, and then technology transfer support. So this is all supports that currently CIMP is providing. Apart from that, we are because we are now working as a, a single ecosystem in Bihar. So if somebody wants some support in terms of packaging, there is a packaging lab at Bihar with their feet. If somebody wants some support in terms of testing of their concepts, which are deep learning, deep tech concepts, we have a you know, partnership with IIT, Patna and so such institutions wherein we can test those project, projects. So, uh, in fact, uh, that's my well, uh, appeal to the students also because you get lots of time after your you know institutional activities. So after five o'clock, even you are all are free. Please centralize your energy, start to start a new enterprise. All those enterprises that you see today are actually being seated in some of the institutions, right? So let's have the same practice over here. And uh, as uh, uh, our previous speaker also talked about. Uh, Professor, Dr. Professor Rana Singh is having a lot of focus on startups. He always tells his faculty members to start and as well as students <laughs> to have their own startups. So let's start from somewhere where we are. And we are actually in a place very nicely in this ecosystem. We have all the support that we can look into. And he is always he always welcomes all those uh, you know, demands that you would have to further strengthen your project. So if you want any support, he's always there as well as this institution is always there. All the faculty members are always there to help you out. As well as when you have the support from Department of Industries for the ideation also. Now if you have the idea, it is a workable idea, government is supporting you. Then why not to have something good start? So I urge all the students to have at least a good start, start participating into it. I know some of you might be able to crack that and have access to the funds. Once you have access to the funds, many other avenues will start opening to you and then you know, life take a different trajectory. So, if you start forcing everything now, you might not be able to foresee it. But when you start, uh, you know, walking on a say on a given uh, carried path, then you will find that you know, it's an interesting journey to have. Like uh, you know, a few days back when you have the Shark Tank one episode, we have Rajat, Rajat from Sun Fox Industry, Sun Fox Pharma. Uh, Sun Fox is from Dehradun, and I because my roots are also from the same town, so I am very well known to him. I know his uh, life journey. He was actually staying for three, four years at Graphic Era University in Dehradun, which is better known to you. And uh, after post-COVID, when his uh, you know equipment has come into the market, the small ECG machine, the life has taken just a U-turn to him. Now he was. To, we are also in touch with each of with each, uh, each other, and uh, he was talking about those days which you has seen as the investors in Shark Tank like Piyush Bansal and all. And he was talking that okay, you know, life take a different U-turn when your success comes to you. So you never know that what success will come to you. Of course, that that uh, hardship is always there. But once uh, you know uh, you become successful, then things take a different trajectory altogether, and the life uh, become. Uh, as we always say, it's not. It's, there's no fun to be in a, just an employee. Na? Start looking for being an employer. Then you will find that's actually what MBA is mean for. So with these words, I'll stop over here, and then I congratulate you all for this to participating in this event. I and I'm looking forward for your active participation in such events. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I will now announce the top five winners of Ideation Challenge. A big round of applause for our winners. Saurav Kumar from PGDM 2021-23, first prize. I request all the winners to please come on the stage. Divya Anand, FPM 2022, second prize. Shreya Ambasta from PGDM 21-22-24, Third, Mr. Anjani Kumar, PGDM 22-24, fourth. And Harsh Patel from PGDM 22-24, the fifth grade. I request all the winners to please come on the stage and share their ideas. Saurav Kumar and uh, th uh, 
I want to say thanks for giving me the opportunity to present uh, my idea in front of you guys. So basically, my idea is that uh, we can see that there is a lot of uh, demand and supply gap exist in uh, supply of uh, agricultural product. So if we see states like Bihar, we can see that we are majorly in the production of agricultural products like vegetables and uh, other eatable goods. So, uh, it, it is a good uh, opportunity for us to like uh, generate profit from it and also to contribute uh, at the society at large. Hence, uh, my idea is that uh, if we have uh, like established a mechanism so that uh, we can pull the uh, agricultural products from the like low earning or uh, like low earning farmers who are uh, producing the vegetables and fruits uh, in uh, not so large scale at a relatively a small scale but uh, they are getting uh, very low like revenue for, for their products hence uh, if we like established a uh, logistic support so that they can ship their products to the places where the demand is higher and they can get better price for their product then it will be both win-win situation for both the industry like we can generate profit and we can also do a welfare for our low earning farmers. Uh, that was the basic idea of my startup. Thanks. faculties and uh, all other members of uh, CIMB family. This is Divya, uh, student of uh, FBM uh, program, first year. And uh, my startup idea was, uh, came from a conversation that I had with my father that uh, he always says that uh, we, should, we should not travel with, uh, from two wheelers at night because uh, uh, they are at high risk of uh, getting uh, uh, huge losses because uh, the two wheelers may come uh, under uh, trucks or uh, other uh, huge vehicles. So uh, the idea was that uh, so the same as uh, there is a pop-up uh, kind of bag in the cars which uh, pops up uh, in uh, when the car crashes the same can be uh, in with the two wheeler two wheeler vehicles um, when the vehicle uh, crashes or falls on the road uh, when the, uh, even in if there is a minor accident and not uh, huge damages are uh, occur and uh, minor injuries uh, are there um, but, but it, of course uh, the previous coming vehicles can't see that uh, uh, that uh, crashed vehicle that caused uh, major uh, damages to that uh, minor injury turning that into a major one. So uh, when, the two, when this two-wheeler crashes, uh, a pop-up, uh, same kind of pop-up like there, there is in car, an automatic pop-up like thing, it will uh, pop up, uh, the, uh, the sensor will pop up and uh, the flag or balloon, whatever kind of it is, uh, which can be seen or identified uh, far away from uh, the accident area can be seen uh, through the by the driver of uh, the vehicle and thus uh, uh, drawing his attention that uh, there is a two-wheeler uh, or somebody who has uh, met an accident for at some distance so he can uh, save that person and retract his vehicle saving the life of that person who has fallen on the road. So this was the idea. Um, I'm not sure uh, how this can be made possible and what technologies would require in it as I'm from finance background. But uh, maybe if, I, if this idea can be uh, adopt, taken and uh, used by some technicians who can develop it and uh, actually make it work and uh, used by and make it uh, installed in uh, future two-wheeler vehicles, maybe we can reduce the losses of uh, injury and losses of life that uh, could be avoided in future. So this was the idea. Um, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. 
everyone my name is shreya ambasta and my startup idea is to like we are agriculture producing india and uh, there are many wastage of uh, grains in india like they kept outside uh, and they after time they get degraded so we can do that we can uh, rent uh, houses that are uh, free uh, uh, that are close to the farmer houses they uh, that uh, they will easily store their food over there and uh, they, uh, we can make an app in which we can upload all the uh, all the information that the houses are on the rent so farmer can contact them easily and our uh, unique st- selling proposition was to uh, make the food uh, uh, less degraded and uh, they will uh, preserve for the more time thank you good evening everyone i'm harsh patel and my idea was uh, basically it was related to the car pooling car pooling bike pooling all the vehicle pooling apps like uh, the prices are soaring petrol prices are soaring the fuel prices are soaring so high that it has actually started to hurt the pocket and the pollution is also uh, reaching the all time highs every now and then so the idea was to decrease the number of vehicles on the road so that can be done people have to go somewhere and they will go there is no chance that they would actually cancel the trip so there can be one option that two people going to the same location can actually pool their vehicle like a person who is going to uh, exhibition road and another person is also going there for his office they two can actually meet on that particular app there are high chances that someone from your locality goes there on a daily basis and this app will actually help you it is on the ideation phase and i have not actually thought of really implementing this idea as the option came i showed this is what i think that idea can be used in the market that will actually help in saving fuel that would uh, not hurt your pocket now the pollution will also for decrease these all things can happen once if we actually implement this idea the uh, about the revenue i am actually thinking this product if it is launched if some technical some it had um, actually create this app and launch this app this app can have a great potential in transportation commu- uh, in commute and the revenue can be at the introduction phase it can be for free but at latter stage either advertisements can be the reve- can be the addition to the revenue model or, uh, or the other thing so thank you present here myself anjani kumar pcdm 22 batch my idea is basically about the uh, the running of the breast cancer as per the report 27% uh, were dealing with the breast cancer according to who report so i i explained the idea about the chief uh, so that they can use the chief in the breast uh, so detect the breast cancer from that actually in a uh, actually in a very early stage they, they do not know to how they occur in that performance so my idea is that thank you for today's function before we start i take this opportunity to brief our honorable chief guests of the day about our institute a brain child of our honorable chief minister shri nitish kumar who also happens to be the chairman of the board of governors of the institute cimp was established in 2008 as an autonomous institute on the lines of iims with the active support and help from the government of bihar to resurrect the educational glory of the state 
Recently, CIP has secured a position in the top 125 management institutions in the country under the NIRF ranking 2022 conducted by Ministry of Education, Government of India. Let me now introduce our chief guest of the day, Sri Deepak Kumar Singh, IAS, Additional Chief Secretary, Department of Education. Sri Pankaj Dixit, IAS, Director, Industries, Government of Bihar. Sri Dilip Kumar, IRTS, Special Secretary, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar. And let me now welcome Professor Dr. Rana Singh, Director, CIMP, and Sri Humod Kumar, CAO, CIMP. I now invite all the dignitaries for lighting the ceremonial lamp. all the dignitaries to please take their seat on the dais. PGP1 students to present the saplings. Dr. Rana Singh, Director CIMP, to the lectern for the welcome address. Honorable Deepak Kumar Singh, sir. Additional Chief Secretary, Department of Education, Government of Bihar. Honorable Sri Sandeep Pondrick, sir, IS Principal Secretary, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar in absentia, and we are waiting for him. Respected Pankaj Dikshit, sir, Director of Industries, Government of Bihar. Respected Director Technical, also, from Department of Industries, Government of Bihar, and my esteemed colleague Kumoji, my dear faculty colleagues, staff members, students from PGDM and FPM, delegates, members from the Startup Support Unit, 
Sanjay ji from Ernst & Young who has been the driving force at Department of Industries, Government of Bihar, supporting the startup mission. All his colleagues, members from the media, a very warm good afternoon to one and all. <coughs> it's indeed a pleasure, privilege, honor and delight to extend a welcome address at this special moment. And I take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt thanks to Department of Industries under the dynamic leadership of Sri Sandeep Pondrikji, who has been taking multiple steps and initiatives to give a catalytic boost and exponential growth rate to the process of industrialization in the state and the mission of transforming the startup ecosystem in the state. And in the process, we have seen the transformation of the erstwhile startup policy of 2017 culminating into startup policy 2022 which has seen the establishment of a startup fund trust wherein 500 crores have been earmarked to give a boost to the startup mission in the state i take this opportunity to extend a formal welcome to our additional chief secretary sir this has been his first visit during my tenure he has always been very kind and supportive and has been committed to the cause of driving excellence in the domain of environment and education throughout the state. He has a passion for multiple domain areas, but I see the passion for environment and the animal kingdom is really very high, which is witnessed from his the WhatsApp picture which I still see, couple of birds there. So let me put on record my heartiest welcome to you, sir, uh, with a big round of applause from our audience here. I also take this opportunity to welcome and extend my thanks and gratitude to all members on the dais and Sri Pankaj Dikshit Ji, whom I have witnessed one person among bureaucracy who has always been passionate towards driving industries to a new level and is always open to new ideas and the best part of him is his liking for the Rast Bhasha Hindi. He says, it's very important for us to convey the message. The language is never a barrier. So I take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to you, sir. And uh, I also take this opportunity to welcome our special secretary in the Ministry of Education and uh, he has been an author par excellence and he has been driving a lot of young students towards achieving excellence in personal and professional life and has been a very renowned author and one of the best sellers by authoring series of books and has been motivating youngsters to join bureaucracy and motivate them by giving them the basic tenets, tricks, and has been driving the industries department at a very passionate interest. It's indeed, uh, I would also welcome in absentia our principal secretary, sir, Sandeep Pondrik, sir, who is a man always committed to driving industries to new, new levels and has been conducting series of events throughout the state, outside the state, across the country to drive more and more investments and uh, as per one of the estimates we got in the last month almost an investment to the tune of 1700 crores and is also been chairing Biada which is uh, driving the issues pertaining to land allotment so he's heading that department as well so we have been witnessing series of investments coming to the state and uh, last but not the least, I would also welcome my esteemed colleague Kumod Kumarji, who is the CEO of uh, CIMP, BIAF, which is currently driving the startup ecosystem within the institutional framework and is always committed to drive startup mission. So I once again take this opportunity to extend warm welcome to all members on the dais, of the dais, and look forward to the words of wisdom. Over to you. Thank you, sir. May I now invite Mr. Pankaj Dikshit, IAS Industries, Government of Bihar, to deliver his address. Thank 
थैंक यू मिश्र राणा जी आप हमारा इंट्रोडक्शन पहले दे दिए कि मैं हिंदी को प्रेफर करता हूँ मैंने इसलिए कहा था कि बेसिकली जब आप अपने व्यूज को एक्सप्रेस कर रहे होते हो तो ये बहुत जरूरी है कि व्यूज सामने वाले को कम्युनिकेट हो प्रॉपर ढंग से भाषा कोई भी हो और आज डैश पे दीपक सिंह सर हैं जो कि न केवल हम लोगों आप लोगों के लिए भी हम लोगों के लिए भी गाइडिंग फोर्स हैं जब भी हमें आवश्यकता पड़ती है तो सर हमारी फ्रेटर्निटी में हम लोगों की मदद करने के लिए आइर इट्स पर्सनल और प्रोफेशनल नॉर्मली प्रोफेशनल मदद आपको मिल जाती है बट पर्सनल मदद नहीं मिलती है तो सर सब तरह की मदद के लिए तैयार रहते हैं और आज उन्होंने समय दिया है सर इस प्रोग्राम के लिए इसलिए हम सर के आभारी हैं और डिपार्टमेंट की ओर से भी सर का हम धन्यवाद ज्ञापित करते हैं और अभी हम आज प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी सर जो एक्चुअली चीज़ों को जैसा बताया गया है कि बहुत तेज़ी से लीड कर रहे हैं और चीज़ों को हमारे पास पॉलिसी बहुत अच्छी रहती है इट्स नॉट कि वी हैव बैड पॉलिसी बट एग्जीक्यूशन इज ऑलवेज मैटर समटाइम यू कैन हैव सम पोअर क्वालिटी पॉलिसी बट इफ़ यू आर एबल टू एग्जीक्यूट देन 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 यू कैन गेट द बेटर रिजल्ट तो अभी जो एक्चुअल में है वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग द थिंग्स इन ए फास्ट वे तो जब ये स्टार्टअप की बात कही गई है पहले से भी 2017 की पॉलिसी थी तो उसमें जो हिकप्स थे उनको स्टडी करके और उन चीज़ों को दूर करके कि अभी उसमें था कि इफ़ यू गो कि जो इवेल्यूएसन आपका होता तो बहुत हाई लेवल इवेल्यूएसन होता बहुत सारे बड़े बिजनेसमैन इवेल्यूएट करते थे बट वो इतना टाइम लेते थे कि वो शायद हो सकता है कि आप भी परेशान हो जाएँ कि इतना लंबा समय क्यों लग रहा है तो उन सारी दिक्कतों को दूर करते हुए अभी जो नई पॉलिसी लाई गई उसमें टाइम लैग को कम किया गया है और प्रयास ये किया जाता है कि जब भी आपका आइडिया हमारे पास आए तो उसके आइडिया की स्क्रूटनी करके हम मैक्सिमम थ्री मंथ में आपको जो फाइनल सीट फंड तक प्रोवाइड कर सकें जिससे आप आगे अपने आइडिया को ग्रो कर सकें और आगे बढ़ सकें उसके अलावा उसमें आपको इट्स नॉट सीट फंड जब भी हम लोग डिस्कस करते हैं तो हम दस लाख की बात नहीं करते कि हमने हमें आपका दस लाख देना उद्देश्य है बेसिक उद्देश्य ये कि जब मैं इसके पहले अभी एक पैनल को हिट कर रहा था तो वो थ्री करोड़ का ऑलरेडी कंपनी हो चुकी है हमने उनसे पूछा आपको क्यों चाहिए तो उसका विजन बहुत क्लियर था कि हमें आपके दस लाख नहीं चाहिए हमें रिकग्निशन चाहिए तो नॉर्मली आपका भी उद्देश्य यही होना चाहिए जो अभी संजय अपने एड्रेस में कह रहे थे कि वी नीट की आप अपने आइडियाज के थ्रू स्टेट को और नेशन को एक नई ऊंचाइयों पर ले जाइए आज जो भारत की स्थिति है अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड तो सबसे बड़े सबसे ज़्यादा स्टार्टअप हम ही प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं और जो स्टार्टअप आइकॉनिक हो रहे हैं ब्लेनियर हो रहे हैं वो भी हमारे यहाँ से ही नंबर सुन के ज़्यादा हैं तो जब हम देश की बात कर रहे हैं तो फिर अभी हम स्टेट को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं तो वाई नॉट फ्राम बी हमारे राज्य से क्यों नहीं हो तो बेसिक एफर्ट जो है वो इसी है कि राज्य से भी हमारे राज्य से भी ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग इस फील्ड में आगे आने चाहिए उनके आइडियाज़ को पंख लगने चाहिए और वो हमारे राज्य का भी नाम रोशन रोशन करेंगे और देश में कंट्रीब्यूट करेंगे जो हमारे देश का आ, आ, नाम है उसमें भी अपना वो चार चांद लगाएंगे और बेसिकली जो आइडियाज स्टार्टअप सबसे ज़्यादा स्कोप होता है जब आप बच्चे होते हो मतलब और जैसे जैसे आप ग्रो करते हो आपका स्टार्टअप माइंड जो है धीमे धीमे कम हो जाता है आपका माइंड मैकेनिकल होता जाता है तो अभी आप जिस स्टेज में हो जो इनिशियल स्टार्टअप्स होते हैं वो आप अपने छोटे बच्चों से मिल रहे होगे उनके आइडियाज बहुत सारे रहते हैं वो हर तरीके का आइडिया आपको देता रहता होगा बट वो बहुत फ्रीवलेस से आइडिया होते हैं लेकिन आप जिस एज ग्रुप में हो यहाँ पे आके एक स्टेबिलिटी आती है और यहाँ पे वी एक्सपेक्ट कि इस समय जो आपके आइडियाज हैं तो आपको उस आइडिया को कॉमर्शियल करना है और वो आइडिया आपके लाइफ के अपलिफ्टमेंट में कैसे यूज होगा सोसाइटल अपलिफ्टमेंट में कैसे होगा और ओवरऑल नेशनल अपलिफ्टमेंट में कैसे यूज होगा उस लेवल पे आप उसको सोच सकते हो और एक्सक्यूट कर सकते 